All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Harakakwadash, and double honors unto the elders and apostles of GMS Great Millstone, and a sincere Shalom to Yaakim, bringing out this word in diligence and in truth. Shlaki. That says, um, nearly 1.9 million bottles of water impacted by FDA recall. Uh, and they say it poses no health or safety risk. So why are they recalling it? You know, because if it posed no safety, health or risk, they wouldn't recall this, uh, you know, this type of um, product. It says uh, Topeka, so that's Kansas uh, News Network. The Food and Drug Administration has determined thousands of cases of bottled water affected by a March recall are not likely to cause adverse health effects or health, health consequences. So like it. Hey, but here it is. He is saying uh, he's recalling these bottles because it is something wrong with them. You know, it says in March, the FDA announced natural waters of VD Limited was voluntary recalling more than 78,000 cases of Fiji water due to manganese and three bacterial genera. Um, it says the Center for the S uh, CDC reports manganese as a trace element that is needed in small amounts in our food and water. However, exposure to more than the usual requirement of manganese can lead to brain damage. So there it is. Esau is, is polluting the, the water. <clears throat> First off, he strips the water of its, its natural, you know, um, elements, uh, the benefits of the natural benefits of water. And then he pumps, you know, uh, fluoride and all other chemicals in it to so-called cleanse it. And when he stripped it of its gold and things that filter it, um, that already cleansed the water naturally. Um, and then he bottles it a, a, into a poison a, because the plastic in which they make is from silicates. And, and inside these bottles, a, you, you have poisons um, as well. That's why when you get water, a, it's best that it be in, in glasses. Um, so that's another way of him poisoning it. Uh, him shipping it to you. And then what? You discard the bottles. And now he blames you as the result of um, pollution when he's the cause of the problem. Right? It says now the manganese within the trace elements of manganese are in food and water now he's telling you hey, it's um to the point where so much manganese in this water that it'll give you brain damage so whether that's misfires or whether that's seizures you know whether it's a uh, blood clots in the brain because these are all effects that can lead to, to to brain damage and it says the fda classified the recall as class three a status given to recall products that are not likely to cause adverse health effects here it is he said they can lead to brain damage and then they're telling you um, it's not likely to cause the adverse health consequences that he spoke of previously. Um, let's see. It says it affected products that were sold only through only one distributor. And 99% of all those affected bottles were reclaimed with the remainder in warehouses to be returned. There is no higher priority to us than the safety and quality of Fiji water. Um, let's see. All right, so that's that. But it's another article I want to grab on water. Here we go. It says the U.S. government issues concerning drinking water alert. Um, it says the EPA announced plans to help protect drinking water from cyber attacks last week. Um, to municipal water system operators know that it will be taking a strict approach to certain laws going forward. It says... Um, refers to all municipal water providers as community water systems or CWSs. Cyber attacks against these CWSs are increasing in frequency and severity across the country. Hey, but we also understand that E is, uh, you know, purposely polluted, you know, uh, fresh water systems, whether they be lakes, streams, rivers. Uh, um, he, he's done that to ultimately get those people that are in the rural areas away from those areas and get them into more polluted, uh, it's like your more populated parts of town. Now, I want to go into the scriptures. Oops. It's Isaiah 24 and 5. It says, The earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof, because they have transgressed the laws, changed the ordinance, broken the everlasting covenant. So ultimately, because he is in power and he's a covetous devil, a, he doesn't mind, you know, messing up the quality of any and everything in order to get profit, you know, and he's going to do that under the expense uh, of people's lives, right? 
And I also want to grab this precept too. The principal uses of men. I believe this is in the book of Sirach. 39 or 38. Here we go. This is Sirach 39. I'm going to start here at 25. For the good are good things created from the beginning. So evil things for sinners. The principal things for the whole use of man's life. And number one is what? Water. Right? And we see that it's polluted on every side, man. Hey, you even have uh, the sea being polluted by, by um, plastic islands, man. And when you look at these countries like India, hey, they're, they're, their sea is full of, uh, of literal poop and piss, man. You know? It says, our water, fire, iron, and salt, flour of wheat, honey, milk, and the blood of the grape, and oil and clothing. All these are good for... It's like all these are for good to the godly, so to the sinners are they turned into evil. Now I want to grab another precept because the first principal use was water. Now I want to come to this book of um, Sirach 10. And three, and it reads, an unwise king destroyed this people, but through the prudence of them which are in authority, the city shall be inhabited. And Esau is ultimately destroying a, all the people under him. A, because he doesn't give, he doesn't care about, you know, the health of state of you. And that's why, that's why he created this pharmakia market in which nothing is meant to, to heal. It's all meant to suppress. Right? It says the power of the earth is in the hand of the Lord. And in due time, he will set over it one that is profitable. And that's ultimately Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, King David the 12, and the rest of the elect, man. You know? A, because under this system, under the devil... Hey, it's a, it's a death culture. You know, death is promoted in, in every way. I want to grab another precept. This is uh, the book of Revelation 18. It's like Revelation 11 and 18. And it reads, And the nations were angry, and thy wrath is come, and the time of the dead that they should be judged, that thou shouldest give reward unto thy servants, the prophets, and to the saints, and them that fear thy name, small and great, and this is the point, and shouldest destroy them which destroyed the earth. So E got to be out of power, man, because under this devil, everyone is sick. Hey, whether it be physically, mentally or spiritually, everyone is sick in a way. And he's the cause and the root of the sickness because he's the cancer upon the earth. You know, so I just want to bring this quick lesson to the body. Lord willing, it was edifying. I want to give all praise and glory and honor unto Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Harakakwadash. And double honors unto the elders and apostles of GMS Great Millstone. And a sincere shalom to all you I can bring out this word in diligence and in truth. Shalom.